Hey everyone, um, my name is Raphael and I will be doing debate number one, whether or not there will be a great war between the United States, China, and Russia, or the great powers as they call them. And I will be um, taking the stance that war will be, be likely between the three great powers. And the reason being that, um, as you can see, as everyone knows, the last six months, Russia went to Ukraine to in order for Putin to further um, rebuild in the USSR and spread Russian influence and bring back the, the glory as he sees of the Russian Empire and after the USSR. Um, and now that just brings Russia one step closer to Poland and NATO territory, which will only increase hostility between the Russians and NATO and the United States which um, just makes it more and more likely that we may intervene in the future because um, I believe Poland will probably be invaded next by Russia when probably the next 20, 30 years, maybe even sooner. But I think that the invasion of Ukraine just sealed that fate of a military conflict between Russia. And also I believe with the invasion of Ukraine, Russia now has given China an idea of how to go about invading Taiwan. I now believe that Taiwan is likely to fall under the Chinese rule or at least be attacked. Um, it would be a lot harder for China to take Taiwan than, um, I believe, just for Russia to take Ukraine. Even though they haven't taken Ukraine yet, I, I just think it'll be even worse for China because, one, like, Taiwan is an island. So logistically, to sustain an amphibious assault is going to be a headache for the PLA, uh, People's Liberation Army, to the, due to the fact that they haven't been in an armed conflict since the late 70s against the Vietnamese. So I believe that will be an issue for the Chinese, but I do believe they will invade Taiwan eventually. And when they take Taiwan, I believe they will look further to further expansion into the South China Sea as Russia is looking into further expansion into Eastern Europe with Poland coming after Ukraine. Thus, um, with the United States really focusing on uh, preserving the free countries of the South China Sea like uh, Indonesia, Singapore, Japan, um, Taiwan, and the Philippines, it, it, it just makes it very likely that the United States will come into contact and conflict with China and Russia. Um, Russia in obviously Eastern Europe and China in the South China Sea. I believe a conflict between the United States and China and uh, Russia will erupt into World War III. I think Russia and China have been coordinating as to when they'll invade. Um, I just think that because right before Russia went into Ukraine, Putin had a uh, meeting with uh, Xi Jinping, the president of China, and I believe they definitely discussed their um, strategies as to distract the United to distracting the United States and talking back to backroom alliances. And I believe they have been planning this for a while now. And although Russia's invasion into Ukraine into Ukraine has been um, pretty bad on their end for the most part, they are gaining ground, unfortunately, and I believe. They will eventually invade the whole country of Ukraine, but obviously they'll still have to fight a coin counterinsurgency warfare against uh, Ukrainian resistances. But um, with that being said, I believe that this war in Ukraine is just foreshadowing in the um, World War III between Russia, China, and the United States. And I believe Russia and China will be fighting against the United States. And that is very likely that it will happen. Um, when some military strategists say in the next five years, you know, China could, will take Taiwan, some say in the next 10 or 20. Whenever that happens, though, I believe that um, a global war will erupt and that the United States will eventually have to intervene and we will fight a near-peer war. Um, the first near-peer war that will be larger than scales of probably since we've seen the Korean War in the 50s. And I believe, um, with that being said, that is why the United States military, uh, especially the United States Army, is adjusting their doctrine from non-state actors such as the Taliban and other terrorist groups and ISIS to state actors. So focusing on fighting near peer threats like China and Russia. Anyways, um, that's my stance on the issue. I believe that war between the United States, Russia and China is inevitable. Thanks.